cracking down on machine gun conversion devices, also known as switches. They're easy to make and get, but they'll land you in big trouble with the federal government. News 4's Caitlin Ogle has more. This is three times the size of what an actual switch looks like. It's enlarged because otherwise, in the eyes of the federal government, I'd be holding a machine gun right now. 30 rounds in 2.1 seconds, all because of a firearm conversion device, also known as a switch. They convert semi-automatic weapons into fully automatic weapons. In other words, machine guns. They cause guns to spray bullets out of control, making it easy for the public and police to be caught in the crossfire. Veteran law enforcement officers, the first time they shoot these things, it pops out of their hands. In the hands of the wrong person, are, are going to lead to severe tragedies. U.S. Attorney of the Western District of Oklahoma, Robert Traster, says they're easy to 3D print and even easier to buy on social media. These aren't toys. It's not a hobby. They're not illegal in Oklahoma, but just having one can land you a hefty federal charge. You face 10 years in federal prison, followed by three years of supervised release after your prison sentence and a $250,000 fine. In the past few years, the Western District prosecuting 10 people, like Charles Lamar Scott, who pleaded guilty to possessing a gun with a switch while robbing a Northwest OKC CVS last year. He awaits federal sentencing and still faces separate state charges for the crime. Traster's office now launching Project Switch Off, cracking down on criminals with advices while informing the public and partnering with local law enforcement. They find devices like this, they'll know what they are because there isn't just one size. OKC police say last year officers documented three switch incidents. So far this year, that number is up to nine. They're everywhere and they're scary. In OKC, Caitlin Ogle, Oklahoma's News 4. The ATF says just this year in Oklahoma, agents recovered more than 400% more switches than they did in 2022.